Hello guys, it's Hacker Cop here, and today we're going to learn how to rip models from Mario Kart Wii. So to start off with, we're going to be ripping models from Brez archives. So we're going to need some software to do that, called Brez Via, and we're going to need an SLS extractor, so we can extract the Brez files. So you're going to for your SLS tool, you either can use C Tools Pack, which is very easy for beginners, it allows us to easily extract the files, or you can use Weems SLS tools, which are command line tools, and they're fairly harder to use than Ctools Pack, but they allow for things like batch processing, which makes the extraction a lot easier. So I recommend, if you're a beginner, you download Ctools, and um, you also need to download Bresviewer to rip the models. So once you've done that, the next step you need to do is you need to have a Mario Wii ISO with all your course or character SLS files in it. So I've got one here. If you don't have an extracted ISO image, then you can download the 99999cc speed pack because the file edited in that is not the course model, so it's still the same. So all these links are in the description. So I'm going to use a file for my ISO image, oldfools underscore ds, which is Yoshi Fools. There is a conversion table here of all the file names and their um, real game names in the game. You don't want to use the ones with underscore d because that's multiplayer usage and so that has much lower res textures and simpler animations. So we're going to use Yoshi Fools here. I'm going to copy this into the tutorial folder. And I'm now going to extract it. So open this with SLS Explorer. Open this and right click course model. So the course item box, it's mini map, that's water splash effect, sun, and background model. And you now have your Brez file. If you want to do this using Weems tools, you type CMD. Then Weems SLS tools extract your SLS file, enter, and you can then type here and you'll have all the files you see in SLS Explorer. So, we've done this, we need to open this with ResView, which you downloaded earlier. So it's a link in the description for this. Expand this Brez file, 3D models, right click, load and display. We have that, we can use the middle scroll wheel of our mouse to zoom in and out. Press and hold it to pan and left click to orbit the model. You can actually see here that we have some glitches because the water is animated. Brez viewer is unable to render that and so we are only getting the shadow effects of the water, not the actual blue of it. So there will be some glitches, especially with transparent textures. But on the whole, it's fairly clean. We can do this file, export all files. Models, OBJ, and hit OK. Once it's finished, there will be an exported folder here created, which will have the course model and all the textures. However, there is no .mtl file which contains the texture mapping and the location of the textures. So to do this, we need to reload this, then go to mo Model, Export, OBJ. Slightly confusing and we have to overwrite this obj and we'll create a new obj but with the mtl file and we will then have the texture mapping okay so now that's done we have the course obj with mtl and the other files so now i'm going to import this into blender now be a good time to point out that course files in the game are absolutely massive due to the game's units a typical road in the game is about two to four kilometers wide so when we open Blender, do a new file, delete all of these, pressing A, then delete, zoom out a bit, press N, go to view, change clipping, 10 meters minimum, and the end is really high number because the course is massive. Zoom right out, go to file, import, OBJ, documents, tutorial exported. Okay, I mean, now we have the course model, but there are no textures. So to do this, Go to the shaders, change to flat, we want it, and then click on texture. And now you should have your model with textures and you can view it. And this is a very useful platform for making texture hacks. 
because what you can do is you can change your textures while getting a real time preview of how it's going to look. When you're finished, export your textures and use software like Brawlbox or Brawlcrate to change textures and make texture hacks.